Hi everyone, I'm Tanya from the Health and Wellness Lab at the University of Calgary. Today I am here to review the sumo squat, which is a variation of the squat exercise with you from the ACE home based exercise program. The sumo squat is a variation of the squat as I mentioned and will work the lower body, so mostly quads, hamstrings, and the glutes. <coughs> um, with the position of the feet, um, you're going to work the inner and outer hip and thigh area slightly different. Okay, so when we're doing the sumo squat, um, the position of our feet is slightly different. So when we're normally squatting, our feet are about hip distance apart. Uh, with the sumo squat, we're gonna take the feet slightly wider than hip width, and we're going to point the toes out, okay? Um, from there, it's the same squatting position where you're always starting with the hip hinge squat and uh, keeping that chest nice and proud and tall and squatting down to whatever is a comfortable level for you. So from the side, you will be able to see that um, my feet are again, same position, slightly wider than hip width, toes pointed out. I'm gonna start nice and tall. And then the first movement again is going to be that hip hinge, I'm moving my hips back. Then I'm going to bend my knees and squat down and come up. And keeping those knees driving out over the feet as well. So really important to watch that. Try not to let them collapse in. So in and out. Um, a variation where, where it goes um, a little bit easier would be to not take the squat quite so deep. Um, so again, you could do this and just go to about a quarter depth amount. And if you wanted to make this exercise slightly harder, um, you could add some resistance by holding dumbbells, um, your weighted bag. Again, from the side, it's gonna look like this, keeping that weight nice and close to your body and driving the knees out over the feet, chest is proud. Again, I'm starting with that hip hinge so that my knees do not go past my toes with this exercise.